about we about to do the white rapper conversation. Ugh. Listen, <laughs> okay, let's. Let, I'm I, I'm not gonna do all of these links that I put on here, but here's what the deal is, right? Jack Harlow, and the reason why we're talking about this right now. The reason why we talk about this right now is because it was a, it was a it was a award nomination or something. He was nominated for like a billboard or some shit. Um, and they were saying it was white privilege. People were saying this, and he got attacked. And then he had a thing where he didn't know who Brandy was and all this other. Right now, Brandy got a record with the guy, whatever. But they were saying white privilege. Who came out and said the guy didn't have white privilege? It was a Kodak black? And the person that was really pissed about it. Was Lil Nas X? So he was he was he, he was nominated for Best Male Hip Hop Artist, twenty twenty two BET Awards. Lil Nas X received no nominations. Social media called out the network's hypocrisy. Nas himself addressed the controversy in a now deleted series of tweets when he asked by a follower when asked by a follower why he deserves to be recognized. Industry baby. He said, I don't know, maybe three of the biggest songs of last year. Did anybody ever listen to it? You know a Lil Nas X song, by the way? Anybody? Did anybody listen to this fucking guy? Montero was a huge song, fam. Is it a good song? It's an amazing song. Well, he says, why are untalented white artists constantly lauded in rap? Lil Nas X. Listen, for me, first of all, first of all, Lil Nas X, you're garbage. Let's get that out the way. What's your problem with Lil Nas X? That sounds a little pretty. He can't, he, 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 I don't like his music. He can't rap worth shit. He's not a rapper. Don't he rap, though? Has he rapped? He's no. not on the track. No. What is he? See, you, you said his music is garbage. But I've, heard, I've heard a couple songs. I've heard a couple songs. Right, but I've so heard rappers. I've heard rappers. He's not a singer. Got, he sings good rappers. I've, I've, I've heard rappers that call themselves rappers do the same shit that he does who because like i'm talking kind of shit and they still call it rap so what is it now is he a singer he's a pop star and that's what he aimed for and that's what he claimed his it's first true. record was not a hip-hop record fam. It's it's record. Listen, just because he's black Justin and pop timberlake is a pop star christina aguilera is a pop star do you see what you're doing? no do you see what y'all are doing right now Lil Nas X can't be a pop star. Why? Because he's black and gay? Can't be, what are we talking about? Michael because the music he makes is not what? pop. I'm not familiar with his... Like, I can't sit here. Y'all keep saying I don't know heard his shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When you, <laughs> go, when you Google Lil Nas X, it says American rapper. Done. That's, who, but who does that? That's, that's the media people. Is he saying he's not a rapper? Yeah. He's not a rap artist, fam. Is he young and of the hip hop generation? Yes. Is he a rap artist? No. Nobody's looking for Lil Nas X bars. He makes melodies. He writes songs. This. And if y'all were in tune with the youth or the youth music, y'all wouldn't be scrunching your faces up because this isn't like a wild take. This is just what the boy does. I don't care what he does. I don't care if it's pop. I don't care if it's country. I don't care if he call it hip hop. Let me say this unequivocally: he's trash. Listen, you don't just like, like ahead, just it. like after, just like for what me. Just, just admit you don't like him because he's gay and flamboyant. It's okay. But I didn't even that, know though? he was gay to but be who honest. Who said with that? You. I didn't Why know you that. My mouth, though? I have I'm, no I'm idea. Saying, okay. There's so much vitriol. Right Frank now. Ocean is gay. I'm cool with Frank Ocean. There's so much vitriol. Luther Vandross is gay. Like, Prince was Frank androgynous. Frank's not a colorful character like that. This nigga. And you didn't like Frank. You know, you know, you know, you know, Frank got, got the shoes with the with the you know, blood with the blood in the fucking heels. Loved his music. He on the Lucifer shit. Yeah, the talk is called Industry Baby. He an industry puppet. Oh, it's Deuce Ellis. He chose the name. Now I'm going. I'm going. Is Deuce Ellis gonna tell me that Lil Nas X is not an industry fucking plant? Yes. You mean to tell me that he wasn't manufactured by this industry? That so wait, 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 wait. Let me hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. It went down oh. like this. Hold on, it went down like this. Little Nas X start making fucking music. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is fucking song. You know, that guy is an incredibly I gotta have him. And two singles later, we're gonna put this nigga in the Dorito commercial. Are we trying to say that the same thing that happened with Lil Nas X is what would happen when Diana Ross discovered Michael Jackson?
And second of all, do you know how he was discovered? Do you? Do you know his origin story? I'm asking you. Before you throw the flames on it, do you know? I'm asking you, do you know? I just asked you that same question. I'm asking you, do you know? So you know? No, I don't. This dude mastered using social media, built his single up, and his song got so big that it started to chart on the country charts. And that became a problem because country music was like, hell nah, this black kid is I remember not that. on our charts. Right. right. And, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the country people were the first ones that were like, hell nah, we're not going for this black kid with this huge record that has gained billboard charting off of TikTok and off of being on Instagram Reels. Which means, like, if a song is in a category right now and through the DSPs and through TikTok, it gets enough traction, it'll hit Billboard, Sans record label, Sans industry. And they hate that shit, especially when it charts with something like country. They didn't want that little black boy country. I know that part. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because you don't know the origin story. Let me just get to the end. Let me just get to the finish line. So what then happens is people start to rally around this kid because now there's a movement. And it's black folk around him saying, oh, my gosh. We got somebody that looked like us. He's not hip hop. He's not a rapper, right? But the country music people were attacking him so hard because he is black and he does look like the youth that country motherfuckers don't know what to call that, right? What would they label that? What would you label that from, from that side of the fence coming into your shit? You call it that rapidy rap, that hippity hop. They didn't like that shit. We rallied behind him and then he signed a deal and the label got Billy Bob Thornton on the record. And that made it number one on country, and then it went to be number one on top of the charts. Right. right. Then the kid still had to prove himself. He released the EP. The EP produced another smash single. He started really building his base, and like through through his use of social media, same way that he grew up, same way that he was making like TikTok and real and real after real until his song spread. And he made his way in, and he's been making consistent dope music since. Like, Trash. And listen. And I know, and, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm all like when it when something's true, whether I like it, dislike it or not, I'm, you know what I mean. I'm not just gonna say trash. I only go, I'm only, I'm only doing this. If, if people watch this channel, it's only yeah. about this for me. And no, I, when that, I, I don't hear, I don't hear it. Trash, right? And so, and and, and keeping with that theme, what song did you hear was trash? Just, the just first, the very first one. The Montero fucking joint I didn't fucking like. Which one was the one where he was dancing? Was that the one where he was dancing in, in hell on top of the, a lap dance of the devil? What's the name of that song? Yeah, that's the one. That Montero? That's the one. Trash. Listen, and so, and I might have to go back and revisit this because we're going to do the experiment on Jack Harlow, right? So, in the comment yeah, section of the room, watch this. See, we, 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 we back and forth about platform. We want to get to this infiltrator. That's fine. We, all of this is good, right? But what I'm saying is this, right? I didn't want to just say Jack Harlow was trash because I've been saying Jack when I just hear the boy name and I see the boy picture I go yeah he trash and I hadn't heard none of his guys music so I said let us listen to some Jack Harlow's music and let's get a boy a fair shot and I'm, I was reading this article about Lil Nas X and Harlow Jack Harlow on the on root the root.com right so it said in the comment section hold on in the comment section this this guy says White rappers who became successful, good sales and widely known, who I enjoy. He's naming all who he likes. Comment section. Beastie Boys, Third Base, House of Pain, Eminem. He said, peace to LP of Run Jewels. Jack Harlow, here was the challenge, the Jack Harlow challenge. Listen to three Jack Harlow fucking songs. Tell me what you think. I'm going fucking first. Hey, Fritz, did you listen to Jack Harlow? Okay, I got three songs from Jack Harlow. What my notes at? Mikey, what what my notes say? You got my notes? Um, first class, Jack Harlow. So I'm giving the guy a chance. Deuce looks so upset at me, right? Why am I upset at you? No, 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 no. Okay, so um, first class. So this is these are what my notes say. He got to be corny in real life because his delivery <laughs> is a whole corny put on. This is my opinion of Jack Harlow. This is me writing notes. While I'm listening to it, he trying to be smooth on some fake Drake type shit on this song First Class. This is what he tried to do. 50 million views on YouTube. I give the song a three, right? You three, three out of 10, okay? Jack Harlow, what's popping? Remix featuring the baby, Tory Lanez and Lil Wayne. The baby snaps on this joint. 
He could rap. Jack just does not excite me, is what my notes say. Even when he's doing the fast rap shit. Second song in, and I'm annoyed. Because this dude is an industry plant. These are my notes. Jack Harlow, he, he struck me as an industry plant. What'd you say, HB? I have not heard SUVs back on back. But listen, when so if somebody tell me Rakim can fucking rap, I can toss fucking um pay the full album at your fucking face. Any fucking song that you take a bite out of that album, you gonna know he can fucking rap. So I listened to three Jack Harlow songs, the nigga fucking corny. The third song I heard was a funk flex freestyle. Flex, you should be ashamed. His voice is just weak as fuck, my notes. And he just bites styles because he has none of his own. Diet Drake. Diet Drake, I like that. This nigga tried to bite Jay-Z style in his freestyle. On the funk flex freestyle, he tries to go to the J tone, right? Listen to it. And I'm about to shoot a movie, so I guess that I ought to be stressed. But I'm just too blessed. Ain't nobody overseas, girl. It's just U.S. Man, I swear y'all do the most. You should just do less. I can't rock no skinny jeans because my nuts too ex. That's when I turned it off. When I heard him try to do the Jay-Z thing, Jack Harlow is dookie juice. Fuck that nigga. That's my notes. French? <laughs> I, mean, I concur. <laughs> I gave I him a chance. I, I listened to uh, what's that shit? First class. Yeah. First class. That just sound like something Kanye West made and threw away. Whoop de scoop, scoop de de whoop, whoop de scoop de poop. You look like Mr. Bean's son. Yo, that Mr. shit. Was, just listening to that dude was like pulling teeth, bro. And then Kodak Black came out. And I think defended him. So I had to say before I say this man is trash. Well, hold up, hold up. Who who protected him? Lil Uzi Vert defended Harlow and said it's not white privilege. Uzi Vert. All right, all right, all right. So okay, it's not white privilege, but like it's garbage though. So let's just say, if you guys know how I feel about Drake, I ended up enjoying Drake's verse because he came on after Jack Harlow. I see the show of hands of people that would buy tickets and go to a Lil Nas X concert. I might. Let me talk about the inclusivity part of it. Listen, I might. You could be gay. You could be bi. You could be. I don't. I don't mind none of that. I don't care. You know what I mean, but in rap, and let's and you say he's not a rap. He's not. I know, but I just think that that's how they're trying to market this guy as a rap act. I think this, that's what they're doing. I believe. Who's that? Media mainstream. I think the kids would call him a rapper. They wouldn't? No. Nah. They wouldn't? HB, what oh, y'all call so Everybody on, on media is calling him a rapper, but he's not a rapper. <laughs> I, would you call Kid Cudi a rapper? I don't listen to Kid Cudi's music, so I don't Kid know. Kid Cudi actually, he, he's dropped bars before, though. He used to rap. He raps. But what would the media call him? Even a though rapper. he was a, the media, yeah, like, but the, like, but the media, the media show, I get it. The media is short sighted. The media right? is short sighted. Anybody black, they want to call him a hip hop star, right? Rapper. So let so pop black pop stars from the uh, 80s. Can you name me black pop stars from the 80s? Real quick though, Mike, would they call you like, like you're a media personality? That's your title first, but you're in hip hop. What yeah. if they were like rapper Mike Powers? Global? Well, I don't even do music. Would you exact? Would you be offended though? You're a hip hop guy. If they call me, guy. if they call me a rapper right now, would I be offended? I'd be very offended because I don't even. You're not even in the ballpark. I don't even. I don't even do music. I mean, close, right? But let's talk about right. Eighties, Whitney Houston, Billy Ocean, Lionel Richie. Who am I missing? I'm talking about black pop artists, right? Um, Prince. I said Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah, Patti Jackson. LaBelle became a pop star in the eighties. Maybe she became pop star before that, but she was strong in the eighties. Lil Nas X, where these people have longevity. These a lot of these pop stars. Where do you put Lil Nas X in the pantheon of these great black pop artists? Then, like, don't do he, that. Don't do that, Mike. Don't what? Because his career is still young. He's still young. Like, let his career blossom. 
No. Like, no, no, no. Perspective. No, when, no. Paul Jackson, Jackson was five years old. He took the world by storm. Whitney Houston's very first fucking single. Pow! And she never Mula fucking looked back. Mariah Carey dropped Vision of Fucking Love. Record ever. Like, he had the longest That's number the one variety. song on Billboard ever. He's already yeah. broke. These fucking kids is corny. That's why. What, what I'm viewing... From from yeah. sitting right here, and the way I'm thinking and shit too, is that you're talking about somebody who blew up from TikTok and all this fucking digital shit. Where nowadays that don't mean nothing when it comes to talent. It might mean that he's got he's got the mind, like kind of like what me and Mike are saying with Eminem and what I'm saying with Drake. We don't have to be fans to respect what they do and respect that, but like that don't make them a great musician. It doesn't make them a pop star. Well, is but it, I don't think that's difference? like I don't think Mike is taking him down booth, off the same level. Only, I'm not, only thing I'm trying to say is, how does he measure up against the great black pop artist? That, see, that's what and I'm, I'm saying. saying that, 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 that shit doesn't make him great because but, we're not going to be playing his songs at listen, barbecues. Ella May just here. came out. Listen, I Ella May just that. came out. She a beast. Ella May, a whole beast. She got a young fucking career. How long will I wait on this nigga to get hot? 12 fucking years? This nigga's trash. Whitney Houston out the game. Are you comparing Ella? Who do you compare Ella May to? You don't do that. Mary J. Her. Blige. But she's she's not there yet. Because Mary J. Blige has had a way longer and more epic career. Right, Ella but she is, she's she is on that track. But the same track that Mary was on, she constantly producing so hits early. Something to compare to, to attach to. Right. Well, I'm gonna compare Nas X to somebody. Who can I compare? No, right, because he's that. getting bill. He's getting on the billboard from from the the DSPs from getting on TikTok and Instagram stuff. And I don't know if like, I said oh, this before or not. Yeah, I don't know if I said yeah. it before or not. He's trash. If I didn't say that before, yeah, okay. that's that's your opinion. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure because you sound like grandpa right now. You sound you sound like old man right now. I'm pretty sure somebody said Prince was trash. That's Absolutely. funny because my dad had a Prince album. I had a Prince album. My mom had a Prince album. El DeBarge, the DeBarge your, album. My whole family understand. had DeBarge cassettes. Oh, I said, did, but did your grandfather understand Prince necessarily first time? My grandfather? Because as music goes by generation, you talk to your mom and your dad. You know, not your you know, grand, you don't talk to granddad about you. Know, you don't, don't get to be the old dude that's just like all new music is trash. No. The kids have no taste. Because now you just say the, the kids have no taste. The majority of is people. young. Ella Bay is young. And okay. You know what I listen to? I listen to Ari Lennox. Okay. So you I listen to Jamil, Na Jamil Naeem X. I listen to him. That's it. Sound all, all of that sounds along the vein of Mike Powers' personal preferences. It's and not. It kind of you of Jamil Naeem X. That song Rwanda that I like. It's not even my style of music. Like it sounds like a little, I guess, trappy. I guess it's. I don't fuck with that, but I like that fucking song. Right, mm -hmm. so you want me to come out? You want me to come out my comfort zone to make somebody happy? I don't get it. Like, I didn't say dude, no, no, no one's asking you to come out your comfort zone. What I'm saying is, there's a large majority of people who find the kid inspiring and see something powerful in his music. Me, objectively, I could listen to some songs and say that they're well written. Well Let me ask well you inspired. this. Let me ask you this. Is well there well is there a Shaniqua? Or a Tyrone or a, a, a Kawani somewhere that's got 15, 16, 17, that's got the voice of an angel, male or female, that could be the next Whitney Houston or the next Mariah Carey that's not getting the fucking shot. Or we sitting around here trying to force this square peg into a fucking round hole. This nigga, We're not trying to force if I'm wrong, it, if this nigga heavy on auto tune, if this nigga heavy on auto tune, no. Well, you, see, you say you're trying to force it. It's already successful and it already found a demographic. Now, if you're not in that demographic, that's cool. It don't speak to you. That's fine. You can't I'm, deny the success because you don't I mean, like it. This far on Lil Nas X, this is supposed to be a, It's so not your demo. demo. It's white. not your demo. That's okay. My, but my ears still work. Okay. My ears still work. The nigga's trash. Like, what does he do? What's the, what's the talent? What is the talent? He got a voice? He can he sing. He produces all the stuff, too. Can he sing? Do you consider that singing, or do you consider that just creatives creating? Because that's the, like that's the world that we live in right now, Mike. Is that it's kids and no they music, them. my guy. Bring me if you're rapping. Bring me bars that make my jaw hit the fucking floor. That's what you do if you're rapping. But rap this ain't a rapper. 
if you're singing, you better sing well. Don't just be or like. Or it's my job to create and craft catchy songs that do well on the DSPs because that's how I make my money. Why don't you write the songs and give them to somebody that can fucking sing? Nobody wants to hear your fucking shit. Apparently, millions of people do, Mike. Uh, they're brainwashed. The industry then fuck them See, over. No, no, I'm not gonna say that people are stupid because they like something that you don't like. I will. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Go for it. Go for it. They stupid as fuck. Their ears is fucking broke. Yeah. As you <laughs> sit here, broke, food. my guy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, little guy. You just like taking the. Uh, you like you like doing <laughs> devil's advocate. No. Because you ain't bumping that shit, deuce. You ain't bumping no little Nas X. Listen, you know if you ride through Brooklyn, me. if you ride through Brooklyn right now in a whip and you got the shit turned up, when you turn Call the corner, you niggas are standing there, you turn it down. What? You turn it down. No, I'm not. If I pull up on a block I'm bumping, bumping that shit. I ain't turning yeah. shit down. In Brooklyn. <laughs> you is not bumping Lil Nas X. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm coming out there with you. Right I'm coming out there with you. And we going around in the Uber, and and if you do, if you turn it up with them niggas is on the block, I'm jumping out and running, my nigga. I'm not, dude, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not staying down with you. I'm with not that. scared. I'm not scared. What you scared? You, what you, what you, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I don't want to be associated. Like, oh, he like unicorns, like right, on, unicorns right. I don't even want to be associated. Somebody gotta Listen. sit on your lap and stop kissing <laughs> on your neck. <laughs> what would hey do? So what? If, what if Lil Nas X sat on your lap and then asked you where your hotel room is? You've been doing? assaulted, son. You know? I like that. I, I like that. Was I cool it. about it? Like, uh, like was I into it? Because if I wasn't into it, it'd be like, yo, fam, respectfully, Lil Nas X would get the fuck up off me. Would you be into it if Lil Nas X sat on your lap? I mean, I, I, your I, I ain't met him in person. Right, he ain't met him. It, it, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And I respect it. No, the fuck anything can't happen. You Listen, it right can't. Now? Everybody is a free more agent. He can do what he wants to do. If he wants to fuck around with a big booty Mexican chick, or want to fuck around with a flat booty, you know what I mean, Asian woman today, or he want to fuck around with a, with, a, with a chubby gay black person, which is not me. But whatever Deuce want to do, that's on him. I mean, I ain't mad at you. Now, how's the baby mamas?